From the producers of award-winning Isakaba, Last Burial, Akina Ukwa, Beautiful Faces, The Masters and Mr. Ibu, comes a tale that has never been told. Unforeseen. Jesus Christ. What do you bring guys inside? When a prostitute with the deadliness of a cobra. We must take our future. A naive housemaid and a successful young lady from the States share the same identity. Then the innocent will always pay for the evil deeds of the wicked. Produced by Chukuka Emilio Wu, directed by Ike Chukun Yego. Unforeseen, starring Inia Do, Justice Seri, Ungozi Ezeonu, Ebele Okaro, Sam Ubiakeme, Emilia Azu, Libinus Unnochiri, and Anita Hogan. Unforeseen, marketed and distributed nationwide by Casbit International Limited. 7 Ebimbo Dilei, Yumoto Lagos, 51 Iwekaro Don Nature, and 1 Scope 3, Fan Group Abba. Unforeseen. Expect the unexpected. How dangerous is it for a king to have a jealous brother as a successor? How deadly can he become when he is desperate to rule at all cost? Who will stop his menace? From the stable of future king production, comes a must-watch frame. Eagle's Bride, Tale of Two Brothers. Eagle's Bride, a frame produced by Pius Emilio Wu, directed by Ukechuku Yeka. Eagle's Bride, starring Olu Jacobs, Justice Asiri, Muna Ebikwe, Oge Okoye, Bruno Iwoha, and Choma Chukuka. Eagle's Bride. Marketed and distributed nationwide by Future King Production Limited, 5 Ebimbudi Lane in Dumata, Lagos, 51 Iweka Road, Odnija, Namna State, and 44 St. Michael's Road, Aba, Abia State. Eagles Pride. It's not meant for people your age. I mean, I've taken from the covenant Jews. You're a widow. That is exactly my predicament. Toby, you're talking about my mother. So what? She wants to marry Toby. That boy was such an ingrate. Unless you wish to become a widow. What? And I have gained more than I ever imagined. They sneak into my room, both of them wanting to sleep with me. What? What is the difference between rape and willful sex? Arrest her. What? what? I need more blood. The, the organization that started out as a cult has went to, to a fraternity and now is a full blown cult. The churches of the state have agreed to have collection for <laughs> Yes, that's exactly what that is exactly what it is not. I'm relying on you to talk to all the other widows. Let them realize that broad and crooked is the way that leads to destruction.
the queen of the most beautiful kingdom sends her greetings. She has sent us to give you this beautiful gift. Wow, this is beautiful. She sent you this beautiful gift because you're the chosen one to rule her kingdom alongside this river. You're always talking about her. When will I meet her? Don't worry. Very soon. She's preparing a very big party for you. Oh, party. Can I bring my friends? They love big day parties. There's no problem, Janet. You have as many parties as you want for your friends. And we will bring you all the gifts you need for the party. Oh, they will love it. Thank you. Tell the queen I love her. She loves you. And we all love you too. So, where about your parents? I get you to change your room. Yes. All right. Take care of yourself, huh? We will see you as usual in the next movie. Bye-bye. We'll see the next movie. Trust your dad. Mm. You will get all that I've promised. Okay. Then can I ask for more? No way! Look, young lady, better eat up your food and go to bed. Your teacher complained you were late to school yesterday. She doesn't like me more. No, oh, come on. How can you see that? What do you mean she doesn't like you? She's always shouting at me all the time. Oh, come on, Janet. She only wants what is best for you. She says you're very brilliant, but easily distracted. Don't speak for her. I love her to speak for us. Okay, I'm sorry, okay? But let her eat up and go to bed. Early to bed. To rest. Thank you. Now eat up. that is generally accepted as a medium of exchange. Money is anything that is not accepted as a medium of exchange. Give her a clap. Good. Then let's get that question of her. Money. Functions of money. Can give me one. Who can give me one portion of money? Yes, you. It serves as a store of value. It serves as a store of value. Give her a clap. Another person that can give me a portion of money. Okay, you go back there. It serves as a unit of account. It serves as a unit of account. Give her a clap. Yes, another person. A portion of money. Let's go back in. It serves as a medium of exchange. It serves as a medium of exchange. Give her a clap. Who laughs? Who were those laughing in my class? Who laughed in my class? Who laughed in my class? Who were those laughing? If you don't say who laughed, I am going to punish you. If you don't say who laughed in my class, I will punish each and every one of you. Who laughed in my class? Oh, you. No, it's not. Who? Janet and Stella. And who is Janet and Stella? 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 
stand up there. I said stand up! Stand up, what of Why were you laughing in my class? You did not laugh. You did not laugh. You weren't laughing. Come outside. Both of you come outside. Characteristics of money. Dear friend, I've come to look after you. To look after me? I have my dad and mom, and they look after me. I was sent by your three friends, the servants of the queen of the most beautiful kingdom. Oh, I miss them. Can I see them again? I will ask them. Is there anything you want? Yes. Did you bring any other gift for me? Ask whatever you want. And you shall find it under your pillow the next day. I want a um, um, good necklace. You have it. Is there any other thing bothering you? Yes. My teacher, she's only shouting at me. She will never shout at you again. Now, when you get the gold necklace, give it to your best friend at school. And you have a better one the next day. You can go to sleep. Good night. Good night.
coming from? Where are you coming from? Huh? Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Are you sure you are ready for the day? I think you had better see the doctor. I have seen him, sir. And he said you are strong for the day? He says there's something absolutely wrong with you. But it's obvious you are so weak and he couldn't have missed that. The point remains that it is all very strange, you know. He said so too. Very strange. What is strange? Please, I advise you to go home. You can go home and have your rest. Okay? Thank you, sir. It's all right.
was a faithful servant. And you have been given this rare privilege. As you bring your friend along to your initiation party, so will you bring many to the service of the great master. And you will rule your world. Anyone who dares you will be sorry. And if you work hard on this mission, you will receive a greater commission. And your rank and value will rise in the Master's kingdom. But always remember obedience. The great master demands it.
Are you sure you can afford those things? I don't want to punch holes in your pockets. I don't mind you punching holes in my pocket. Okay? We need to celebrate your admission into the university. It's not done every day. And I'm willing to celebrate with you. Maybe order as much as possible as if this is your last day on earth. Okay. Yeah. You know what I've been praying for since? No. You want me to guess? Mm -mm. But then before you graduate, I'll be very rich. Very rich. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't want you to go doing anything funny because of me. Because I've never complained. You will. When you start messing up with the bunch on campus, you will complain, but I have to be prepared for you. Andy. Mm. I didn't fall in love with you because of money, you know. I know. But money, the good money lubricates the wheel of love. <laughs> I love you so much, Andy. You're so practical. <laughs> I have friends who can help you. You know, you know what I mean? You? Your friends can help me? <laughs> What kind of a guy do you think I am, anyway? Your friends can help me. Your friends, who are they, anyway? Are they politicians? Or 419 people? Frosters? Drug dealers? You're what are they to you? You're being jealous, Andy, unnecessarily. I was only joking. Oh, I see. Yeah, listen, you got on the wrong side of my pride there, that's why. <laughs> it's all right. Men and their pride. Someone tells me you love me more when you become rich. Oh, you just wait, baby. You just wait. <laughs> Come on, let's eat. You have done well. Like a recruiting agent. Now, the time for your promotion has come. You saw how we made it easy for you to enter the university. At the university, your task will increase together with your promotion. Are you ready, Janet? Yes, my queen, I'm ready. Look around you. Look around and see my beautiful damsels. They all need husbands. And it is your next duty to get husband for them amongst your fellow students. How do I do that, my queen? We see from here that boys would like to feel your beautiful body by hugging you. And any of the boys that hugs you, whenever you put on this perfume, will get married to one of our girls. Now have the perfume. Ask anything you want me to do for you, my dear. And I will do it. I want my boyfriend Namdi to be rich, my queen. Consider it done, my dear. He will indeed be rich. But be careful not to get emotionally attached. Because you belong to us and not him. The ring, my dear. Get 
give it to him. Wherever he goes, wearing the ring, men will favor him. Thank you very much, my friend. You're welcome, my princess. Music. I did for lectures, so. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I was a lecturer too. Man. Philosopher 101. That man, that man, bro, said, that man, give me his strength. What? I failed this test, though. You really mean it? <laughs> ah. But don't worry, I know how to go, you know, go about it. Yeah, you know, I trust you, I trust you, I trust you, I trust you, I trust you. How are you? Man, I'm cool. You look so gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Man, you look wonderful. Oh, yeah. You look so romantic. Mm. You should give me a hug now. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. hug eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hug. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Mm. All right. All right. We'll man. see you then. Take care of yourself. Yeah. yeah. Take see care of yourself. Later. Yeah. All right. Cool. Bye. Right. See you later in hell. Feeling you don't want me to go to school. No, it's not that. I was just thinking how I'm going to miss you when you leave for school tomorrow morning. I know. But we agreed you were going to come visit anytime you were free. Yeah. Even at that, it doesn't stop me from missing you. No, it won't. See, I try to see if I can make more than this, but 
this was all I can get. You know, 5,000 there. You didn't have to bother yourself, dear. I know you care for me. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. You see, I hope to do better, much more, better than this next time. So you just give me more time and I'll make it better than this. I'll give you all the time in the whole world. Okay? All right. But first, I have a gift for you too. You do? Yeah. This is beautiful. You like it? Yeah. It looks quite expensive. Yeah, my auntie sent it from Switzerland. Switzerland? Yes. Wow, this is wonderful. I was thinking you'll say uh, got it from one of your big friends. Don't start, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Alright. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've gone through your quotations, um, but well, well, as it is now, I have no choice but to give you the contract. Oh, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, I appreciate that. In fact, I, I know that my quotation is, is, is fair. And I have the ability to cut the crap. Yes, sir. Your quotation is not the lowest. Neither are you the best. But I just have to give you the job. Thank you. In fact, after finishing this job, you'll be giving me more, sir. You will. Go to the account department. They'll sort you out. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Where did you get that ring? This ring? Yes. Oh, it was a, a present from my girlfriend, my wife to be. Oh, I see. Yes. yes sir. It's okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Have a nice day. Yes, sir. Thank you. Why do you want to see me? It is about your test, sir. What about my test? I don't like the marks I got in your test. Isn't there something you can do about it? What exactly do you want me to do? How much money do you want? This is an office. This is my office. This is not the Simply just take it. Just relax. Janet, I can't do this, okay? I can't do this. How much money do you want me to pay you? I'll give you up front. Money? What do I need money for when I have a beautiful girl like you? You are more than a billion dollars to me. Next time you lay your fury hands on me again, or the next time I fill your test on this campus, you'll be a dead man.
Adam, how Jenny, are you? How are you doing? I'm fine, I'm fine. Meet my friend Lisa. Oh, Lisa. Hi. Lisa, this is doing? Andy. I've been telling you about her. Yeah, I've heard so much about you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Mine too. Yeah. Okay, then. Oh, okay, then. Take care. Hi, dear. God, you look so good. <laughs> I promised you that I'm going to be rich for your sake, didn't I? Mm -hmm. This is it, baby. So, how did you make it so far? It's not something I'll tell you here, okay? I'll take you to a very cool restaurant and there we sit down under a very good atmosphere and I'll tell you all the juice. That's my car. Right? I can't wait to hear. Good! Good, that's your car! Right there. <laughs> One of them. Oh God, I'm so excited. Oh, let's get into the car. Oh God. Let's go. Let's go, please. Yo, baby, what's up? Oh, hi, where have you been? You look good. God damn it. Okay then. See I, I'm hurrying up, sorry, okay? See you later. You see bye class. bye then. Cry. Jenny, my dear, you won't believe this. It was like a miracle. I didn't believe I stood any chance, knowing that some very big guys in the clearing industry were also bidding for the same job. But then something gave me the courage to stand there and tell the man what I wanted, the dream I had the night before. I told him what I wanted, and like magic, the man just handed me the job on a platter of gold laced with diamonds. My girl. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm so happy for you, okay? I'm so, so happy for you. You can see how happy I am. You know, you've gotten there already, you know. That level you've always wanted to get to. God, you're there at last. I told you. And you are going to stay there forever, okay? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I told you I'll make it. Uh -huh. I told you I'll be very rich, stupendously wealthy, for your sake. For my sake. Okay. Very rich for your sake. Okay. But Jenny, I didn't like what I saw on campus today. <clears throat> what did you see on campus today? I saw a lot of uh, riffraffs, fly-by-night moonshiners, ne'er-do-wells, hugging you in public. That's not good. <laughs> Girl, you're a bushman. <gasps> okay. Yeah, I'm a bushman. You can say that. I accept. Listen, Western education shouldn't be an instrument for denigrating our culture and tradition. We don't hug women that are not our wives in public. And that was what you were doing. So if you say I'm a Bushman, I accept. And a very jealous one at that, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. My lord, your wish is my command, okay? I won't do that again. Good. So, when are you taking me to the altar? You wait. You just wait. I'll give you the biggest wedding in town. It will be the talk of the town for years to come. Mm -hmm. The country's media will be there. The governor, state house of assembly members, mm -hmm. National Assembly members, and if care is not taken, I will invite the president, his wife, and even the inspector general of police will be there. I can't wait. I can't wait for this wedding to come. I, I, can't, I can't wait to get to this wedding as a bride, okay? I can't wait, okay? I just want it to come very, very fast, you know? It will. God damn it. <laughs> Janet, you've stopped carrying out your duties. My fiance is a very jealous one, my queen. Save us that one. Your loyalty is not to him, but to me. 
I gave him all he has and I can withdraw them. Now listen. Punishment for disobedience is very harsh. Just look at your pretty sisters. They all depends on you to bring them husbands. My society expects me to live a life like every other normal human being. My queen, I've got a life to live. According to our desire. And now listen for the very last time. That the punishment for disobedience is very harsh here. You will experience it. But we will still leave you with the power to deal with it. Show me some mercy, my queen. The mercy is to overcome. Now, you go and finish your duties. Music. You should have called me. Are you on vacation now? Well, uh, I thought you'd lost your phones. I've been calling all day. No, uh, uh, I didn't lose my phones. As a matter of fact, I switched them off because I was having uh, serious business negotiations with my partners. That's why. Yeah. Well, why don't you sit down and relax? Thank you. Yeah. Um, this is Vivian. Uh, She's one of my business partners as well. Hi, Vivian. Nice to meet my fiancé's business partner. Uh, ladies, excuse me. I Let me get something upstairs. Right. So, Vivian, you're his business partner. You heard him. Exactly what kind of business do you do with? I beg your pardon. What kind of a stupid question is that? Why didn't you ask him if indeed he was your fiance? You're a rude girl. I don't like rude people. Oh, better still. I don't want you to like me. You wouldn't like it if I hate you. What? Are you threatening me? Is that what you are doing? And who cares whether you like or hate me? Who? You will see now why you should care. I think I did anything to her. Okay, whatever, but... I don't want her to die here. Janet, please! Mm. <sighs> Nami, why are you doing this? Is this the love you promised me? Why are you doing this to me? Okay, Janet, I'm sorry. Okay, whatever it is, please forgive me. But do something. I don't want this girl to die here, please! You don't know yourself. Don't forgive you this time. 
But if you try it next time, Well, from what you've told me, I think that Janet must have some evil powers. Yeah, she must be possessed. It's strange indeed. Oh, my brother, we live in perilous times. Indeed. Indeed, we live in perilous times. But Chidi, what do I do now? What do you suggest I do? I advise that you break your relationship with her. Yeah, break it completely. Don't even have any second thoughts about it. Because she's not fit for you. At all. That will be difficult. Hmm? That will be very difficult to do. <laughs> I mean, I love that girl. I intend to marry her. Intend to? Yes, I intend to marry Janet. <laughs> you must have balls of steel. I like that. But from what I see, Janet is not marriage material at all. She's not. That's the truth from a true friend. But I've seen what this sort of thing can do to people. I wouldn't like you to go down the drain. No. But rather than think about it, just break it up. It's kind of hard, but you can. Hmm? Give it a try. Janet, what is this? in my sitting room. How on earth did you get in here? I can go anywhere I want, anytime I want. Advice her. Stay away from my affairs. You'll be lucky this time. But if you try it next time, I will deal with you. Advice. Tell you what's the problem now? Namdi, leave me alone. Don't you understand? What have I told you about Janet? Just forget it. I will withdraw my comments. I don't want to be involved. It's all between you two. Right? I'm not trying to put us under anything. Just stay. Go.
Janet, listen to me. I don't know what I've done to you to deserve the treatment I'm getting from you. You have succeeded in scaring away my friends and business partners, and I don't like that. Just listen to yourself. Do you have to lie to, to, to block off all the bad things you've been doing? What girl? You call me a liar? Janet, you call me a liar? I won't take that. Okay? I won't just take that. You know what? It is, it is so amazing how much you have changed of late, Nando. And I don't even know what has changed you. The money or, or, or what? It is you who has refused to change. You have refused to understand that with my rising profile, I need, I need time for, for my business and social responsibilities. Ah. So now you're saying I'm not good enough for you. So now you're saying I'm not good enough for your rising profile. Hey God, I need, help me. I need space. Ah. Okay? I need time for my business and social responsibilities without you standing over my shoulder all the time. You need space. You need space. That is what you want. Okay? I will leave and you will never see me again. And don't you ever come looking for me. Listen, I didn't mean it that way. I... There she goes. Are you free, man? Yeah, free, 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 like a bird in the air. <laughs> and I'm free to love again, free to mingle with anybody, free to live your life the way you want. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Angel. <laughs> What's a pretty girl like you doing on a lonely road like this? I go in my direction. And where is your direction? Naturally, you can see I'm at a for mountain type of phone. A place where there's no darkness or sorrow. Hmm. You sound as if you're not from those are world of sorrow and darkness. You can say that again. Look, I'm from Planet Bliss. Great. Yeah. A place where the sun shines all year round. A place where our grass is made of, guess what? Raw gold. <laughs> Sounds interesting. <laughs> so, I thought angels live up there. What are you doing on Earth? Well, let's just say I came from heaven to fulfill an earthly assignment. Oh my God. Um, look, I think I'm the luckiest guy on planet Earth. Yes. So, Angel, are you going to bless me with some of your angelic stuff? Um, why not? You want to hop in? Excuse me while I go to the ladies. Order for two. 
Angels are not choosy when it comes to food and drinks. Hmm. Not as much. Please excuse me. Okay. Don't be long now. Nadio Biago, foolish man that you are. I command your spirit into this image. I came into your life and you became rich. I'll leave your life now and you return to abject poverty. By the power of the deep of the oceans. Return to abject poverty. Return to abject poverty. This angel is starving, please. Let's eat and talk later, okay? Is on the line. Oh, okay, thank you. Hello, Joe. Yeah, Joe, I've been expecting to hear from you since Monday. What happened? Is there a problem? No, 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 no. Joe, please, please, if this is a joke, cut it out. This is not April 1st. What? You can't be serious. How? When? I mean, wait, you mean all I labored for all my life? Sunk in the sea? No, 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 Joe. I mean, how did you. When did you get this information? Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, Joe. All right, all right. Just hold up there. I'm coming over to the port right away, okay? There must be a mistake somehow. There must be a mistake, Joe. Oh, God. God, God. Why? Why me, God? Why me? I'm secretary. Come to my office right away. Yes, come to my office. Cancel all my appointments for today. I don't want to see anybody. Okay, sir. Okay? okay sir. Uh, come back here. I don't want to see anybody, not even you. So make yourself scarce, okay? Go straight to the accounts department. Tell the accountant I said he should not pay out one naira to anybody today. You hear me? Okay, sir. What is this? What kind of calamity is this? What sort of bad luck is this? All I've worked for.
Because I can't think of anything better to do. I told you I'll call you in my own time. But I've been waiting. Hmm? I don't want to wait in vain. Besides, I'm scared you might rush back to your heavenly home. Cut the jokes, Andy. I don't like people violating my rules. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realize um, I'm also dealing with a goddess that must be obeyed. I am not in the mood for jokes, Andy. I will call you later. Hey, 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 Angel, please don't hang up. Don't hang up, please. Please don't hang up. Listen, honey, look, I need you. I'm losing my mind. Oh, I need you, honey. Bye. Hello, Angel. Angel. Hello, Angel. You sounded as if whosoever it was was irritating. So I thought it might be Nandi. Why do you say so, Dad? Janet, I'm being frank. I have observed in recent time that Nandi is no longer happy. We expected something to come out of this this time. Don't start again, Dad. You must not expect every relationship to end in marriage. Truly, I don't expect every relationship to end up in marriage. But I expect one, just one, to end up in marriage. So what's the problem? Dad, are you in such a hurry to send me away? Send you away? <sighs> Janet, I want you to marry a responsible young man. That has always been my prayer and wishes for you. All your... Uh... Dad! It's okay. Let me hold it. Now tell me, what is the problem with Namde? Tell me, I have observed that young man to be very responsible. Dad, Namde is a closed chapter in my life. And I don't discuss that. See your boss, Mr. Namdimweze. We are from Transform Trade Bank. Uh, sorry, sir. My boss is not on seat at the moment. In that case, wait for him in his office. Uh, no, it's not. You can't go in there, sir. Sir. It's all right. It's all right. Go back to your seat. Gentlemen, I must say that this is a surprise. I wasn't expecting you. Um, yes. The new development in the bank prompted this visit. You must have uh, heard the problems we are having with the central bank. Oh, yes. These are no easy times for the banking sector. Our case is peculiar. That is why it is necessary to call in our credits. Mr. Nandi, who will expect you to pay back the loan within the specified time? For this time around, there will be no loan for monetary. As a matter of fact, I was going to write to inform you officially about the problem I have. You see, the ship carried my goods sunk at high sea. I mean, all my money, huge investment, gone down the drain just like that. And it's, it's killing me financially. We are sorry. But there's nothing we can do. I will advise you to talk to your insurance people. Gentlemen, we've been partners in progress for a long time. At least I should be able to get some reprieve from you. How I wish we could. How I wish we could, Mr. Man, but our hands are tight. You must understand, we are constrained as it is. God. God, what is this? 
what do I do? What do I do right now? not fair. It's not fair. You know it's not true. I talked to her. It's just that I have to be careful so she doesn't think we don't want her around the house. Careful. Careful, you said. I hope you don't ruin her future in trying to be careful. Otherwise, that will amount to act of irresponsibility on our own part. Look, I know my daughter, Janet. I know that once she falls in love, she will marry and settle down. How long? What is wrong with all these eligible bachelors that have been trooping in and out of this place? Now you talk about love. What color or shape of love are you talking about? Tell me! You know, Janet is our only child. An only child. She needs to take her time to find the right person. You see, it's not how early you marry that matters, but how well. And let's keep our fingers crossed. Give me that. Please. Ah, oh, make yourself sit down, make yourself at home. Welcome to my home. Oh, it's so nice to have you around. I, you know, I, I was wondering. I don't remember giving you my address. Angels can also find out what they wish to find. Oh, interesting. I, I also hope the angels were able to tell you that I've been thinking about you. All day as a matter of fact. What do you mean? What I'm trying to say is I think... I think I'm in love with you. Call it love at first sight. Love. Love is a dangerous game. I just love the way you, the way you say your, the way you use words. I'm in love with this danger. All of it. Even if it's things. Are you sure? Are you sure you can take these things of love? Try me. Hmm. Well, well, we shall see. But I need time to find you know, out. You know what I... Something tells me you're also in love with me. What is that? I'll tell you later. But for now, let me stop being a bad host. Or do I offer my... My <sighs> goddess. The Immaculate Goddess. Your life, spirit, soul, and body. You have it. Mm, you have it all. Mulugaba. Eh? <laughs> Anyhow, you want it. Just go on. I'm always yours. As long as you promise to be mine. <laughs> what do I find you? Anything? 
get down, get down, get down. Get down. Hey. Assure you that your wonderful works is being appreciated in this kingdom. So can I live a normal life now that I have delivered as many souls as possible to you and your daughters? A little while, and you will receive your due reward. Andy is the love of my life, my queen, and I want to marry him. Woman of vain flesh. There is no comparison between your earthly reign and the kingdom of your reward. Why do you desire vain things like earthly marriage while your husband here is a powerful prince? I'm not getting any younger, my queen. There is more pressure for me to settle down like most girls of my age. Hmm. We are aware of the pressures. That's why I've strengthened you. Please spare Andy for me, my queen. He's the love of my life. We shall consider your requests. But the more you deliver, the greater your glory. What about my father? He won't let me be, my queen. We know about that too. And we are doing something about it. Thank you very much. Now, Receive strength. Servant of the deep sea. Music. Oh my God! 
Listen, baby, I've been trying to see you for quite some time now without success. Where have you been? Why do you want to see me? Janet, relax, okay? For old time's sake, please. I'm not like you who dwell in the past. As long as I'm consigned your history. Janet, you can't walk away from me like that. That's rude. Can't you see I have company? Oh, company, my food. Who the hell is he? You and I go back a long way, you know that. Who is he, by the way? It's like you don't understand when a lady says no. Janet, please, relax, you know. We can always make up for the past and then continue from where we stopped. Huh? You know what I want. I want us back together again. I need you at this point in my life. Uh, Janet, don't do that. Janet, I'll get you. seek happiness. The happiness of childbirth. Your daughter here needs that happiness so that she can rejoice with other women. Adag, make your request. Turn and make your request. There's a wine. There is no happiness in my home again. No. Nobody to call me mommy. I need a child desperately. That's the why I need a child though. I need a child. You can get a child. But the queen demands that the child will serve her. And be initiated before she is conceived. Please, there's the why. I appeal that instead of my child, I prefer my grandchild be initiated to serve the queen of the deep sea to show appreciation. <laughs> so shall it be. Your unborn grandchild is hereby initiated. Your daughter is indeed an extraordinary girl. The gods say that the spirit of your mother has possessed your daughter. My mother? Your mother was a servant of the deep river. But I never served the goddess of the deep river. Upon it, woman, you would have been better off if you had done so. Her case is a special one to give us some respite. You and the father will have to go to the sea at night and plead. But my husband would never agree to do that. That's all, woman. I have done that which I am consulted for. But I tell you, woman, 
you will not know peace until you have appeased the pain of the deep river. What's the matter? That guy. He's just one of my admirers who dreams I'll marry him someday. Now listen to me, Janet. I don't want no admirer dreaming or thinking of marrying you. That's why I've asked you to marry me a million times. Jenny. Marry me. Please. This is the third time you're asking me to marry you. Third or the thirteenth time. What is stopping you? Mm -hmm. You've been to my house. You didn't like it there? You know, very first time you talked about love at first sight, it happened to both of us, you know. <laughs> Are you saying you feel the same way? Yeah, I love you. But... But what? But what? Look... You were in my house. Are you trying to say you don't like it over there? No, not that, Andy. See, your family is the loveliest family every girl would love to belong to. Then what's the snack? Your family, they approve of me. Your dad even said so. See, in as much as I love you, I wouldn't want you to get into any... Get into what? Any what? You don't want me to get into what? Huh? Please. No, look, I don't understand. Every time, look, each time I ask you to marry me, you tell me you don't want me to get into this. Don't, what is it that you don't want me to get into? Take what? me home, Andy, please. God, please. dedicated to a water goddess by your parents? It was not a deliberate action. It wasn't deliberately done. Come on, tell me how it was done. Go on. Tell me how my own daughter was meant to be a servant of a water goddess. It was my mother. Eh? And that is why she has not settled down. That is why she cannot hold any man down. Yes! She cannot be able to hold any man down because you have not done your homework no, very no, well. No, no, that is not fair. That is just not fair. You know, I've done all I can do for her. I've done what any mother can do for her daughter. No, Ogechi, no. You have not. If you have, you wouldn't come here telling me to go and meet with one goddess or the other. That's arrant nonsense. What's happening Has something here, gone wrong with your head? What's happening here, Dad? Ask your mother. What's the Can somebody tell me what's going on? Nothing. Nothing that concerns you. This is incredible. 
If you hadn't told me this yourself, I'm, I'm almost sure I wouldn't have believed it. I've never told anybody this story, Andy. Not even my best friends. I love you. And if I marry you, it will make life impossible for us. I don't think they're as powerful as you, you say. Don't underestimate them, Andy. You don't even know how much I've endangered my life by telling you the story. You say they're going to want to. And you, if they find out. Me? How will they know? Well, I don't know. It all depends on your spiritual level, Andy. Really, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm confused, actually. You know, I... There's this man I used to know when I was a child back in my village. The guy's very powerful, especially with his spiritual things. What are you trying to do? Well, what I'm trying to do is I think we need to travel to my village. If this man is alive, I think he's able to help you. You're looking for trouble. Jenny, listen, baby. Every trouble I go through because of you is worth it. Because you're all that I have. Okay. First of all, I I need to see your mother. If you do this for me, I will be ever grateful to you for life. Please, I don't want her father to know about this. You can't count on me. You can't count on me. But I'd like to say that I love your daughter so much. I'll do anything for her. That's good to hear. That's really good to hear. And I must tell you that we're so happy that you, you just came into our lives. I'm the one that's grateful. To you, your family, especially to Janet. She could have easily harmed me if she had wanted. That is true. But she loves you, God. She really, really cares about you. I've never seen her feeling or looking the way she is these days. It's amazing. <laughs> the feeling is mutual. I have never loved anyone like this. Mm -hmm. I am willing to go to the end of the world for her. I will do everything humanly possible to make sure she comes back to normal. I'm glad to hear that. And I can assure you that the good Lord will guide and protect you. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. I won't disappoint you. Oh, I know, I know you won't. Okay, we can't take a net at all. 
Akarakaju, Makadendo, is he still alive? Akarakaju, Oko Sisi, Makamando, can that man die? If he's dead, I mean the news will spread like a hammer down fire. But I've not seen him for some time, but I'm sure he's alive. That's very good. Yes. Actually, I'd like to see him. You want to see Akarakaju? Is everything all right? Well, I will tell you later. No, no, when I when I came back, I would, yes, I would. So I will wait in my house. Just wait for me. I do I have I I I am I I I I See my friend, my terrible friend. This guy has arrived. The guy is rich. So leave me alone I don't want to be on again oh. I've been on my person Come on person Living in this world Lead me, make I marry The person where I love Before they burn me Mama say I don't serve mommy water As I grow this of mommy water well well But now, love don't take my heart Mommy water leave me alone I don't want to be on again oh. I've been on my person, come on person Even in this world Leave me, make I marry the person where I love you okay? You right? Are you tired? Huh? What are you staring at? Where do you think we are going to? Servant of the deep sea. I'm seeking a normal life. I'm tired of your lifestyle. Why have you allowed him to deceive you? You have come a long way, and your reward is very close. He is my love, and I want to live a normal life with him. Just leave me alone, please. Why are you being foolish? Nothing in this world is worth the glory of our kingdom. That is what you always say. But. I'm the one who lives in this physical world. I'm the one who knows how it feels. See, see me. You are kicking against the prince, and the price is very costly. I will pay any price. I will pay any price at all to stay alive for my love. I will pay any price to live with him. See, I'm tired of doing your bidding. Just leave me alone, please. Let me have a normal life. Leave me alone! Let's go. Mommy, water, leave me alone. I don't want to be on again. Oh. I'll be no more person. Come on. Living in this world, leave me, make I marry the person where I love. Mommy, water, leave me alone. I don't want to be on again. Oh. I'll be no more person, come on, person. Living in this world, leave me.
of the world are hidden in the depths of the jungle. Uh, Why is one I wanted? Come down. And I serve the prince of the air. Ah. Why have you summoned me here for my position? Because we have a score to settle. There is no compromise. She is a dedicated servant of Her Majesty. Her Majesty owes me a duty. To release whatever I want to me. No! She was dedicated even before she was conceived. We don't have deal here. I'm leaving. You cannot! Don't you have respect for spiritual authority? Even your queen. And the air is above. You will fail. Because even you need water to leave. you go out to be on you you will not see her or hear her again go your way now thank you wise one thank you thank you wise one uh, wise one what do we pay for this for your services when i want you to pay you will pay don't look so confused I serve the prince of the air, who is wise. Go. I can I get you. Thank you, wise one. Okay, Dibia. Thank you, wise one. Thank you, wise one. Thank you. I can I get you. I can I get you. Okay, Dibia.
gentlemen, you are most welcome to this honorable location. And I think we have to go straight down to business. Um, the groom is here and he's becoming impatient. Uh, my good friend and our dear brother. And uh, I think it's high time for, for the bride to come out here and show us who her husband is. <laughs> Thank you very much.
Me? Your parents initiated my daughter into this goddess of a thing. And you had... Wait, what has that got to do with what is happening here? Eh? Just tell me, where did you start believing in such things? Okay, to watch your tongue. Watch your tongue! You have done a lot of damages to this compound. Me? Yes, of course! And should anything happen to my daughter? Okay, G. Should anything happen to my daughter? To God, your parents will regret ever having me as an in-law. What I can see! Let nothing happen to my daughter, okay, G? Wait, oh, this is not your daughter. She's not my daughter, too. Instead of you finding a solution, you're here blaming me. How are you always blaming me? Hey, what is all this nonsense? What is all this nonsense? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Mommy, what's up? Living in this world, let me make I marry the person where I love. Mommy, what's a let me alone? Oh, Angel, baby, I, don't think, want be your I think I have the solution. Come, come to bed. Come to bed. I think I have the solution. You know what? What we need to do is this. We need to do a cut white right away. My people wouldn't really mind. After all, my, my dad has always wanted me to get married. But your people, Andy, from what I've seen since the last disaster, they won't tolerate it. Nobody tells me what to do. Not before, and certainly not now. They would disown you, Andy. Let's see if I care. One of them even called me a mammy. What? Who said that? And why didn't you tell me? Huh? She wasn't even far from the truth. Oh, that is absolute nonsense. Nobody has the right to call you that. You're far better than all of them put together. Think so? So, maybe I know so, maybe you're the best. See, you couple have finally come together as husband and wife. Wise one, why? How did you get inside? You talk like a child. She knows. Are you happy now? Yes, but there's a problem. We saw it in the air, but there was nothing we could do about it. Actually, wise one, it was. It was our fault. We forgot to carry along with us the fetish cowrie to the traditional wedding. It was foolish of us. Yes. We have done our part. It's now your turn to do yours. Wise one, you want some money? <laughs>
What is that? Blood collected over time. It is the strength of the prince of the air. Wise one, we didn't actually bargain for this place. Men without wisdom, how do you think the prince of the air will bargain with ordinary mortals like you? Wise one, like I told you before, we're willing to pay anything, any amount of money. Just mention it, please. No amount of money in the world will appease the prince. He gives to his servants as he pleases. Does the servant pay the master? Please, no. wise one, please. We're ready to do anything else. Then anything. Drink please, it. have mercy on us, please. You either drink it or something bad will happen. Uh, no, Andy. Andy, don't let him do this to me. Don't. Don't let him. Okay, okay, just calm down. Okay. Andy. Uh, please, wise one. Please, wise one. Please, have mercy. I'm on my knees. Please, wise one. Please, have mercy. If you don't drink it, you'll die. No, no, please. Please. Please, please. Okay. Let me drink it, okay? I will drink it. No. No, Andy, you Andy. won't do that now. No, you won't Andy. do that. No, you've uh, suffered enough. Look, let me do this. No. You suffered enough. If you do it, I will kill myself. No, you're not going to do anything like that. Uh, no. No, 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 don't. Just when I thought I was free, I find myself in another bondage. Perhaps a worse bondage. Now that I have also put the only love of my life in bondage. God, what am I going to do? God, I'm in trouble. God. <laughs> Andy. You know, the very first time I set my eyes on this girl, I knew there was something unwholesome about her. Basil, I didn't invite you over here to tell you this story for you to judge her, okay? 
No, 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 no. I'm not trying to judge her. Uh, just that I'm wondering how you got yourself into this with your eyes wide open. What was the matter with you now? Ah, what's the matter with you? Are you, are you, you're judging me now? I didn't tell you this, this story for you to judge her or judge me. No, 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 friend. I'm not trying to judge you. But it's, it's easier to get into trouble than to come out of it. And let's face facts, friend. You are on to a big battle. You know that, Andy? I agree with you. I know I'm in for a very big battle. You know, it's, it's a very, it's a very ugly situation. But I need, I need solution. I need, I need help. That's why I asked you to come over, so that we can rob minds. You know, I know that I walked into this whole thing with my eyes wide open. But it's born out of love. I'm in love with Janet. I, it's, it's a kind of love that I've never felt before. You and I have known each other for a long time. You know, I would never talk like this if, if, if I'm not for real. I understand you, my dear friend. It's just that uh, this is a very exceptional case. And uh, you'll be needing a very strong man of God to help you out in this situation. Even at that, I'm not guaranteeing you anything. Did you say man of God? Yes. You have his number? Yeah, I'm trying to call him. Oh, that would be nice. Please, please call him. Anyways, away now, please. Hello? So, my brethren, God is love, and love conquers all. It is quite commendable that you love the girl to the extent of staking your life for her. On Calvary Cross, our Lord Jesus Christ conquered the Prince of the Air by actually laying down his own life for us. And after that, he said, it is finished, according to the Gospel of John chapter 19, verse 30. It means our problems are finished, Amen. including that of the lady. Amen. It is only left for us to claim that victory by faith through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. A short brother Andy, get that lady here tomorrow. And you, be prepared. You may be here as long as the battle lasts. How long do you think the battle will take? Mm, it's not for me to know now. Uh, but we will go according to the leading of the Spirit. Okay. Um, I must say a big thank you. Hmm. Thank you, Pastor. No problem. We'll be here tomorrow. Uh, with God, nothing shall be impossible. Thank you. Yeah. We shall be back tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you very much. I really love you so much. 
can't even live to see you being destroyed. Live for me, live for me. Why did you have to come in at this time, my dear? Why? Call it love, call it, call it destiny, whatever. Listen, look, the good man of the Lord said, love conquers all. Okay? What good man of the Lord, Andy? There's somebody I just met, okay? From all indications, he has solutions to our problems, okay? He's gonna take care of everything. So how do you know who will be getting into another bondage? Look, it's better to try than not to try at all. It's better to try than not to try at all. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. It's better to try. Do, do you want to live all your life under the, under the no, wings no, of no, Akarakaju? No. no. Do you want to do that? This is a fierce battle. Yes. Amen. Amen. So we are going to shout the blood of Jesus Christ three times. One, two, go. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. My brethren, our sister must be delivered today Amen. because that's why Jesus came. Amen. In the book of First John, chapter one, verse eight, he says. For this purpose, the Son of God was revealed so as to destroy the work of the devil. Yes, now let me tell you about our assignment here yes. today. In book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 8, he says, See, I sent you over the nations. I sent you over the kingdoms to root out, Amen. to pull down, to destroy, and to throw down. And there you plant and rebuild the kingdom uh, of God. Praise the Lord. Now pray us. Hey, hold on. In the mighty name of Jesus. What are your children? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So the so the so 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 this one belongs to God. This one belongs to God. Father, your word has said that whatever is not implanted in the lives of your children shall be uprooted. Father, by the word of that Lord Jesus, uproot everything that is not in the life of your children. In Jesus' name. Most caribba must show the dollar and the hands camera don't borrow more to lend the syndrome. You don't have a place here. Leave these ones alone. They are mine. I bought and paid for them. You have no right to double into my business. May the Lord rebuke you. I forbid your presence in this place in Jesus' name. Yes. Yes. Don't mention their name to me. He knows they are mine. You lie. Jesus paid for them on the cross of Calvary. I come against you with, with that precious blood which is shed on the cross of Calvary. In fact, I come against you with the word of God. Yeah. I come against you. They are me. They are me. The more pray they are dead. No great prophecy against me shall prosper. The word of God said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Even this one belongs to me. 
Jesus bought and paid for them also. So I protect them with that precious blood which was shed on cross of Calvary for them. In fact, I come against you even with the name which is above all other names, even the name of Jesus Christ. I come against you with the name which is above all other I neutralize your power in Jesus' name. Amen.
You are the hero of my life and that of my family. <laughs> Papa, the actual hero is Pastor. No, my brother, he's very correct. Eh? Actually, you are a hero, but Jesus is the ultimate hero. Hallelujah! She is mine, and no hero can take her away from me. You are wrong! She has disowned you! She now belongs to Jesus Christ! Mention that name to me, because even he knows that I have a legal ground. You lie! You lie! Jesus bought a bed for her! In fact, the blood of Jesus... Stop! Stop! We're coming against you by the pressure! Everything will be all right. What is going on? God works in a mysterious way. He does his own things at his own time. I will tell you of the story of a man born blind in the bad. Look, Pastor, look, I'm not interested in stories. You, you told me that, that she was going to get delivered. But what happened? Now she's blind. You promise she's going to receive a sight. What is going on, Pastor? Please help me. Like I was saying, Jesus, before delivering this very man, told the people that God allowed it to happen so as to reveal his glory. Pastor, I wish that glory would come down now. Amen. I wish that glory would happen to my Janet. I say you don't know how much you feel about this woman. Look, I am willing to do anything. Just name it, I'm willing to do it. If it's fasting, just anything. Is it dry fasting? For any amount of days, just tell me what to do, brother please, Pastor. Andrew. I need your help. I know how you feel, Brother Andrew. But we have done everything we can. We have prayed, we have gone into warfare. I mean, but the Spirit is revealing one thing to me. At this point in time, it is the grace of God and her faith that will see her through. What did you say? The grace of God and her faith in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that we do the rest. around okay right. good that's my girl that's my girl town you going to tell me about your boyfriend yeah. Andy. No boyfriend. Andy I'm talking Andy. about yes Andy. at least he makes you smile when I mention his name see what they have done to my baby God <laughs> Eight. 
came to visit you when you were in secondary school. Which day more? Oh my God! You can remember. Just try and relax. Relax. Just take that. You can't be tired. Walk around. You're a young girl. Okay. Say you want me to call Andy to take you around. Andy, you yeah. want me? Andy. Uh -huh. uh -huh. He called yesterday, you know. I know. You know. And uh -huh. why didn't you take the call? I couldn't face him. Man. You gotta take the call. Uh -huh. He cares about you, you know. I know, mom. Good. I love him too. And he loves you. Uh -huh. And don't ever forget that, because that is what will give you the strength. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. That's my girl. Now keep walking. Okay. Keep walking. Okay. Keep walking. Just see what happened to my baby. See how that wasting highway. Look, it's really not worth it, you know? This life is too short, and it's a one lifetime we have to live on Earth. I mean, I don't know why you want to live your life this way. Look, I've told you, just leave me alone, please. Just leave me alone. I'm not in the mood for this discussion. Please. Well, uh, one thing I know for sure, you've done a lot for this girl. In her whole life, you've done quite a lot for her. And uh, I think it's high time you considered carrying on with your own life. Listen, Basil, something you don't understand is, Janet is a part of my life. Not just part of my life, a very vital part of it. Got that? I know that uh, the ocean is full of fishes. Look, just cut this crap, okay? Just cut it. It's not the only Look, world. you don't understand matters of the heart. You don't. So just leave this, just leave this discussion, please. Well, uh, I trust your heart won't let you get married to a blind girl. I said, leave, leave me alone! Leave me alone, man! Leave me alone! Take it easy, friend. Andrew, okay. our people say that if a man has tried all he could to cross the river and he cannot, the least he can do is to turn back. Yes, um, yes, you're correct. Good. I know you see reason with me. I would like you to travel to the village this weekend. Why? What's going on there? Do you know Wan Uchendu? Which Uchendu? The professor who was your father's classmate. Oh, yes, yes. Good, I, I remember good, him. good, good. His daughter had just come back from America. And she has everything a man wants in a woman. And I, I think you should see her. Okay, Uncle, um, I'll see her just as, as you've said. Uncle, I have to leave now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Your father would be very proud in the grave if he knows that you married a uh, daughter.
Peace. 